good boy. Since you clicked this video, I know that you're interested in making the change from kibble to a raw diet and you're doing your research, so good on you. But there will always be a group of people who will be against the raw diet and unfortunately, that's your vet. But why? The main reason is because there are companies like Purina that can back up their claim that their kibble is good. They provide tests, they provide studies, and this way vets feel safe suggesting that their kibble is actually good. If you look in their offices, it's always going to be filled with Iams or Purina or even Royal Canin. Vets will also say that raw can contain salmonella and worms, which is true, but I really want you to think about this. Just take a step back. Kibbles have been recalled for this very reason, and if you think about it, us as humans, we eat raw, we eat salmon and tuna on our sushi, and there's even cultures that actually straight up eat raw meat. I forget exactly what it's called, but it's part of my fiance's culture. Let me just ask her real quick. See, what is the raw meat that you eat in your culture? What is it called in Arabic? It's called lahmanaya Okay, and that's straight up raw meat, right? Yeah. And then what is the other raw meat that you eat? Liver? Yeah. Aspinaye. Aspinaye. And it's both raw. Both raw, but very clean. It's clean. And no one gets sick from it. Thank you. Now, the funny thing is, is that a dog stomach is actually way more acidic than a human stomach, which just means that they can handle raw food way better than we can. We introduced Winston to raw when he was about four months old, and we started off with chicken thighs and chicken drumsticks and chicken wing tips, uh, but it was never a complete meal. It was more like a treat. But the question is, why did we fully transition him from kibble to raw? Well, because it's just badass. It just looks like a wolf when he's eating raw food. But no, in all seriousness, there is two reasons why. One, it's more natural for them. There's no such thing as kibble out in the wild. And remember, dogs are descendant of wolves and wolves hunt, kill, and eat other animals. Just look at a dog's teeth. They don't look like a cow's teeth. They're designed in a way to kill an animal, to rip up flesh and break bones. And two, it's more nutritious for them. Now I know this point is gonna be more controversial because there are gonna be some people who say, I tried to transition my dog from kibble to raw and they didn't respond well. Or uh, I gave my dog raw and they just don't like it. They don't eat it. And if that's the case, then don't feed your dog raw. They don't, they don't like raw food. But for those who tried the transition, you need to also remember that their gut has to make a transition as well. So what does this mean? During the transitional phase, your dog will experience diarrhea. They will have mucusy poo, but don't freak out. This is 100% normal. The reason for this is because your dog's gut is full of enzymes that help break down kibble, not raw food. So now that your dog has actually made the transition from kibble to raw, it has to create new enzymes to help break down raw food, not kibble. The way we transition Winston over is that we first fasted him for about 16 to 20 hours, and then we introduce him to turkey first. Now, turkey and chicken are much easier on the gut for your dog, so I suggest that at first, and then you can do other meats like beef. And we also gave him some probiotics and some pumpkin to help with the gut and the poop. So let's say you're convinced of going fully raw for your dog, there should be two questions going through your mind. One, how much is this going to cost? And two, how do you balance the diet? All I can do is give you my own personal experience, and hopefully that can give you a rough idea of what it's going to be like. The most complicated thing about this diet is you have to balance it. If you don't balance it, you may as well just stick to kibble. Each meal needs to be met with a certain amount of nutritional requirements. So instead of me having to go out and buying all these meats and balancing it myself, I actually go out and buy a product that's already balanced. Now I'm not sponsored for this in any sort of way, it's just something I use for my dog and I personally believe in. We go with the Big Country Raw XL line. So Big Country Raw, if you're watching this, holla at your boy. In the XL line, I think they have three different meats. They have beef, they have turkey, and they have chicken. This is the beef line, and every single one is balanced already. They have the meats, they have the organs, the bones, the fruits, and the vegetables already mixed up. The only thing they suggest is adding a little bit of herring oil or salmon oil on top. So what does it look like in terms of price? Well, again, I could only give you my personal experience. So we used to feed Winston, Stella, and Chewy. Now, we got him the big bag, and that lasted us about a month, and that was $140 after taxes. 
Now, keep in mind, we also gave him things like chicken drumsticks and chicken thighs and whatnot. So at the end of the day, on the lower end, it would cost us about $170 a month. It could even be $200, but that's kind of pushing it. Now, in terms of Big Country Raw, again, we go with the XL line. So they have the beef flavor, the turkey flavor, and the chicken flavor. The beef flavor is the most expensive, and I believe the chicken flavor is the least expensive. The turkey is right down the middle. It's not the most expensive, but it's not the least expensive. So if we went for turkey that month, it would cost us about $206 because we'd have to buy two boxes. Now remember, in a box, there are six containers, and in each container, there are four pounds. So we would go through two boxes, but we'd have two containers left over for the next month, just because how we feed Winston and what kind of requirements he needs for a daily meal. So if I'm really mathing everything out, you know, taking everything into account, it's about the same as what we used to spend on Winston with the kibble and the other drumsticks and chicken thighs and chicken wing tips and whatever. So we're just like, you know what, let's make the switch. We know it's better and it's more natural for them. Now, I can't speak for you guys. I don't know what kind of kibble you guys are getting. I don't know what you're feeding your dog, but you click this video for a reason. You guys are interested in the raw diet. So do the math, check it out. 